Hello friends, welcome to the Tech Grant. Today we are going to talk about the facade design pattern and we'll discuss the low level design of switching on and off of an electronic device to explain the facade design pattern. It's a pretty simple and straightforward uh, design pattern and uh, it is very useful in terms where you want to hide all the complexity of your application from the client. So just let us look at the design pattern first and then we'll go into the code. So what facade design pattern tells us that facade is like the front of a building so the front look of the building it is very different from what the building is from inside so i have taken a picture from wikipedia uh, if you uh, google for facade you will see this picture on wikipedia so what this shows us that what is the front of the building looks like similar to this in facade design pattern you will have an interface and that interface will be facing the client and uh, that interface should be really really simple it should hide all the complexity that is actually behind the uh, scene for example uh, the, what, this is what it tells us that it hides the complexity of an operation that happens behind the scene so the example that we are going to take here is an electronic device switching on and off so let us take the example of the laptop so you have a switch which says that you switch it on or switch it off the laptop when you press the switch on button it will basically switch on your laptop and uh, your screen will come up windows will load all those things happen but behind the thing there are a lot of complexity that will take place uh, right from the hardware checks to the software checks to uh, booting up your system and bringing up loading the windows and finally bringing up the windows to you or the mac or whatever operating system you are using so loading that and bringing it up to you so there are so many complexity for example when you press switch on button there will be a check for whether your ram is working or not your hard disk is working or not your motherboard is working or not and then lot of checks are there for software as well whether windows or an operating system is present in your uh, laptop or not whether that is corrupt or it is working fine and then there will be set of drivers which will be checked so all these big complexities they are hidden just behind a simple switch which says that you switch on your laptop or switch off your laptop so we are going to uh, see how this this pattern can be implemented in the code let us implement the switching on of uh, a laptop and let's see how facade pattern can be implemented here we'll start with creation of some of the concrete class the first one will be motherboard so we'll create a motherboard class and in this class we will say uh, boolean check motherboard on boot and this will for now we will just return true from here and we will put a log here saying that checking motherboard on boot we will create another class for ram and similar to motherboard I'll just copy paste it here so this will be check RAM on boot so we have check RAM on boot check motherboard on boot and we'll create one abstraction for all the hardware we'll say hardware checks and this will have the motherboard and ram and we'll have a constructor here so we don't want these i don't want to get it from outside we'll simply say that uh, this will be equal to new of the motherboard and ram will be new of ram and uh, this will have another method which will be boolean check all hardwares check all hardware let us say that and finally it will return so what it will return is it will check for the motherboard dot to check the motherboard on boot and it will check for ram dot check ram on boot and whatever is the result it will return that now similar to hardware we will create some concrete class for the software first one will say os uh, uh, os check on boot so 
this will be similar this will again be similar to how we had the check for hardware so this will be check os on boot will be checking os on boot and we'll have one more we'll say check driver on boot so this will be driver check class and this can have similar thing this will have driver this will be driver and we'll create a new class similar to hardware check we'll have this software check and this will have os check on boot and driver check so we have the driver check here we'll create the constructor and these were not required as parameter we'll create new os check and we'll create new driver check and finally we'll have boolean check software on boot and here we will like hardware will return os check on boot dot uh, check the check os on boot and uh, the driver checks so this will be driver check boot so this is done so we have the software check and we have the hardware check ready and underlining these it has the multiple component whose check has to be done now finally we'll create a facade so with the facade in this case will be the laptop on switch we'll say laptop on switch which will be the facade for, uh, for us so here we'll have the software checks and the hardware checks will compose these two we'll insert and again these are not required so we'll create the object here itself when we are creating the on switch so this will be software check this will be new hardware checks and we'll have boolean or this can be just void and this will be switch on laptop and what we'll do here is that we will basically check whether all the components are working fine or not so here we'll say that uh, first we'll check for hardware so hardware dot uh, check all hardware if it is fine then we'll check for software and we'll check for software boot if both are correct then we can simply say that our laptop can switch on now so we can say switching on laptop so this will be the facade for us finally we'll create our main class so the main class can be a laptop and here we'll say public static void main here we have laptop uh, on switch this is equals to new laptop on switch and laptop on switch dot switch on the laptop so this is the facade uh, which which will be exposed to the client so as far as client is concerned they are only uh, they are only concerned with this one method which is switch on lap the switch on the laptop but beneath this switching on process there are many things which is happening so let us run this and we'll see how a simple method like this or a simple call like this will invoke a series of step and uh, how the facade will help us in basically abstracting everything and uh, hiding the complex detail or the sub component that are working internally from the client so when we ran this it is checking the motherboard checking ram os driver and finally when all checks are done it is switching on the laptop so this is how facade pattern is implemented and uh, this is the advantage of facade pattern it is basically from client's point of view so client is not bothered about the underlying complexity of the application they only need to 
need to be one method which is exposed to them which is as simple as what you see here which is the switch on the uh, the laptop method or the laptop button similar to this switch off can also be implemented so i hope uh, you are able to understand the facade pattern and uh, it is very clear from this particular video and uh, you can basically use this pattern wherever you want to hide all the uh, where there are multiple components involved in your system and you don't want to expose all the components to the client and you only want a small method to be exposed to the client and underlining that method you can have various components working in parallel for you for your application to come up or to perform some some operation as per your application need so this is what facet pattern is all about i hope it was informative to you that is it for with this video see you in the next one take care bye